This video will provide an overview of the heating ventilation system controls on a late model Porsche 944. The HVAC system controls on the 944 can be a little confusing given their general lack of descriptive labeling, but they're pretty easy to use once you've got them figured out. The primary system controls are located on the dashboard just below the central air vents. In addition to these centralized knobs and buttons that control the system functionality, there are some directional airflow levers at each of the center dashboard vents, as well as at the left and right dashboard vents. Each side vent features an open and closed switch at the bottom, where open is to the left and closed is to the right. The center vents have a similar switch that is vertically oriented, where down is open and up is closed. When the switch is in the closed position, the ventilation flap diverts additional air to the windshield vents because of their shared airflow pathway. The 944 also features a small air duct leading to the glove compartment, so any items there will be heated or cooled in accordance with the cabin air temperature setting. Moving back to the main system controls, the fan speed is controlled by the circular knob on the left side, where you'll find speed settings between 0 and 4. It's important to note that by design, the blower motor will continue to run at a very low speed, even at switch position 0 when the car is on. The circular knob to the right controls the cabin air temperature, and the switch is labeled in degrees Celsius, with colder temperatures positioned to the left and warmer temperatures to the right. Located between these switches are two horizontal sliders that adjust the air distribution inside the car. The upper lever here controls airflow to the windshield, and the lower level controls airflow to the footwell outlets on each side of the car. When either of these switches are positioned to the left, that's the fully closed position, and to the right is the fully open position, allowing more directional airflow to either the windshield or the footwells as desired. These switches basically open and close the ventilation flaps inside the HVAC unit using servo motors, and when they're in an open position, less airflow will come from the dashboard vents. To the left of the fan speed switch, you'll find a recirculation button and a defroster button. The recirculation switch closes the fresh air flap inside the blower motor housing, which recirculates the air inside the vehicle. Since the 944 didn't include any cabin air filters, only two metal screens, one on either side of the blower housing, it's common for dust and debris to enter the car through the ventilation system. There are, however, some aftermarket cabin air filters from only944.com for about $20, where you can use the recirculation function. By activating the defroster switch, the system is automatically set to the maximum heating power at fan speed 4 and full airflow is directed to the windshield and the side dashboard vents, thereby overriding any existing settings on the upper and lower distribution switches, as well as the fan speed and temperature settings. To optimize windshield defroster effectiveness, the center dashboard vents should be set to the closed position. The final button on the control panel is the air conditioning switch, and it sits just to the right of the temperature switch. The air conditioner can be turned on at any of the air distribution positions by pressing the switch, which activates the air conditioning compressor using a magnetic clutch. The AC temperature setting is automatically controlled by this HVAC unit using some temperature sensors and internal air flaps, whereby the cold and warm air mixture is adjusted to maintain a constant temperature inside the car. Porsche recommends running the air conditioner at least once a month to ensure the ceiling rings and compressor bearings are properly lubricated. Now that we've reviewed the overall system functionality, I'll conclude this HVAC system controls tutorial by sharing some additional details from the 944 owner's manual.